Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial SVM part 6. In this video, I will show you how to use a VTIS IDE after we generate the bitstream from the Vivado. Here I have done the bitstream generations and then we close and we export the bitstream by export hardware to next include the bitstream next set default it will export the bitstream with, uh, after we generate and then now we open the fitis IDE in the fitis IDE, IDE we program the Zing processor system with the C code to access all of the IP core and do the algorithm for the SVM here the first step that we need to do we uh, need to create the platform project here we give it name the SVM speech platform and here we bruise the the bitstream file here we browse the bitstream file extension of xsa open here uh, we can select the operation system between a standalone or free RTOS and we don't want to use free artos here just do the standalone and then uh, finish Yep. After we create a new platform, we do the build for this platform. Okay, the build finished and it successfully built. And here I will show you. Uh, after we generate the IP core from the Fetis HLS, actually, uh, Fetis HLS will provide us the driver for the IP core that we have created. This is the driver for our IP core speech SVM speech, and you can see. Uh, this driver allow us to access all of the peripheral uh, input output like this is the uh, set for input one get for the input one we can use this function to do access uh, for the our IP core also this is a get return so this get return will give us the labels and then also the the control like uh, to know uh, the status is it ready or is it idle and do the start operations and so on actually this is a very uh, convenience to use then just accessing like very uh, like accessing from address we can use this to avoid the uh, confusion to access it from the base address and now we create the application project uh, we select the, our platform this SVM speech platform and do next and then we give it name like similar SVM speech app
here we use the hello world template okay we can open hello world.c basically this is the default and then we need to change this code I have prepared the code that we can use from previous project copy and paste here and here we need to adjust the code and change a little bit and I will uh, explain some of the code here okay we need to change this because uh, previously I used this name uh, we change into our new driver speech 30 okay done and then okay uh, we need to uh, enable the mathematical model I think here setting uh, not this but from this properties tool setting and then libraries yep libraries this is a uh, click add type M uh, this process will enable the mathematical like math.h library and it's done this is complex no problem okay this is the initialization this is the variable variable that we add I use don't worry I will provide this uh, code in the github in this description of video so don't worry if you're not catch up with my uh, explanation this is the conversion from float to uh, unsigned 32 bit okay this is the SVM initialization because this is from the previous uh, from the previous epicor so we don't have any uh, reference driver here so we need to create uh, to adjust with this driver use the <coughs> fun and replace for this for FPGA um, wrong get sensitive Plus, oh. great and then we check if this okay okay this is good and then we found out something here config oh we need to change this svm each 30 okay everything has been changed I think yep Okay, this function will do the SVM initialization, 
this function will do ADC initializations we will check it out if okay the driver still in the correct order and correct parameter and then this is for initialization of DMA this is for initialization of GPIO and this is for the SVM process so the SSVM process will take the input 1 till 32 this is just uh, like to simplify because uh, we in the SVM process we need to give the input for input 1 until input 32 in sequential order in the C code here uh, this is we need to convert the float into unsigned 32 bit because the this function will receive the input as the unsigned and then uh, our data here it's a float data and then after we input the input data we do the start and then with the while loop here we wait until the operation is done and then after that we can see the result in uh, we need to convert again from the unsigned 32 into the float again and then this is check idle for the DMA and then this is the main main code after we initialize the platform, we initialize the SVM, ADC, DMA, and GPIO. Uh, this is for the setting of the GPIO, the data direction for LED and button. Hello world, and then this is the while loop. Uh, basically, the first things uh, in the while loop, we read the button, read button here. This is for the button 0, button 1, button 2, and button 3. This button 0 will do uh, enable for flag trigger ADC. It's basically the ADC will read the data here. Uh, the ADC will read the data to get the ADC data because uh, the sampling is continuous. So uh, the data will always available because uh, we set in 100 kilo sampling per second. And then here uh, we do slip for microsecond slip with uh, 40 microseconds it will conduct uh, sampling around 25 uh, kilo sampling per seconds if we do it like this <laughs> and uh, this is just a calculation because in the IDC data you will get a zero around like uh, 32,000 because it's a uh, 16 bit IDC for sampling here yeah uh, you can write the comment if you have uh, some confusion and here uh, the UART for printing data this is FFT for the FFT we first we disable the interrupt here and then we flush range here ADC in FFT and then we start simple transfer the first simple transfer here uh, we, we specify the uh, variable is FFT output because we prepare for writing uh, from the FFT and then actually for sending the data we uh, do after like simple transfer uh, ADC with the ADC complex ADC complexes from the ADC uh, this for from the reading and then this is for checking the FFT ah, this is the the processing so after we do the FFT I just make the like the summation for each uh, batch I made it uh, from a whole FFT I cut it into two because the data from FFT is mirror and then I make a batch for 32 batch so 
that's why in the beginning we have the trend data for uh, one speech is uh, 32 data and after that uh, here we give the data field for the SVM and then we need to enable this yep and it's done let's see if there's error still in here oops yeah we need to change this because this is still SVM unroll we can check this and then find the SVM this hope this work okay and it has been done I think it's good enough and we connect the FPGA and then we do the programming for the FPGA here selling for the first time we do program device we will upload the bitstream we select our active uh, project here we will program the bitstream first and then after that SVM we do run as the launch hardware okay it's done and then we open the serial monitor I use Arduino serial monitor because it's convenience to use it five yes it's five four nice Three, okay, five, four, three. Uh, actually, it works now and it can give us the result that uh, similar to the C simulation and MATLAB simulation. Now, the SVM IP core it works, and this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for following this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, write a comment. Please subscribe if you like this channel and if you have suggestion for the next tutorial, feel free to tell me. Thank you. Bye.